So I need to recharge my Fox Podium shocks. Uh, they're nitrogen filled and basically the nitrogen reservoir, this part here, you can see it's wet at the bottom. There's been a little bit of oil getting out and uh, the pressure is insignificant in there now and from what I'm reading it needs to be about 110 PSI. So I'm not about to spend a fortune on buying nitrogen cylinders and all the setup. So I'm going to show you what I did and it works very well. So um, I picked up all of this stuff from Amazon, a couple things just at a local hardware store. So that's a uh, nitrogen regulator and I've got it currently uh, set up with um, this hose is just a quarter inch flare fitting, uh, but a six foot hose. On the other end of the hose, it connects right here to this. Uh, I bought another quarter inch flare to quarter inch national pipe thread fitting. Ties into the T, which is a valve, so I can shut it off. There's another female, female quarter inch national pipe thread fitting that my fingers are on. And the workings of it all is just the tip from the red... Uh, Loctite on to the tip is the needle tip. It's a motion pro needle tip. That was 40 bucks So all in all I'm under I'm under maybe a hundred and fifty dollars for my whole setup for recharging shocks, but the key is uh, I'm a do-it-yourself garage guy I'm not going to go out and spend a fortune and buy nitrogen cylinders when I have argon So I weld all the time So I'm using argon gas for welding and argon is a true inert gas the reason they use nitrogen and not argon to fill shocks is because argon is far more expensive, but I need about a teaspoon, so it's insignificant when it comes to the amount of nitrogen, the argon I'll use, but it's not worth buying nitrogen when argon is even a better gas. So I'll show you, I'm going to put this, uh, take the cap off the needle, put it in the shock, and I'll fill it back to what I can figure, the best I can figure from everything I'm read is 100, 110 pounds. So I have the shock uh, set up here and I opened the valve and it's reading about 70, but it had to fill the line to get that. So the needle is in the shock. You have to put it in very carefully because it has to be dead center or it will actually bump into the metal uh, inside of the shock instead of follow the rubber all the way through. So in any case, I'm going to uh, just turn the pressure up, get it to about 120 because it's going to lose a tiny bit with just pull it out, but uh, that should do it. So there you can see now I'm close to the 120 mark. Still have the needle in the shock. I'm just going to shut off the valve and take it out. So the shock is recharged now. Um, there was, like I say, a tiny bit of oil leaking from the bottom. Uh, it's just the rubber self-healing seal for the needle. So I do believe and I'm curious to see how long it will be before it loses its charge. Uh, if it continues to lose its charge, uh, the alternative is you take the bottom caps off, you redrill them, and there's other YouTube videos out there where Schrader valves get put in the bottom of the caps and uh, you just use a different tool to fill them. But the needle actually works quite well and uh, it'll be interesting to see how long it holds up uh, with the charge. Anyway, that's a poor man's system, but if you're welding and you already have argon, uh, it, for under $150, you can have your own setup to fill your shocks.